This is Rocky Hall with the Lassen County Oath Keepers and I'm going to be interviewing a, a couple that were down at the refuge when the FBI were there. They were there camping with their children when this uh, all happened and so we're going to get their side of it and their perspective and what happened and why they're here. So if you want to go ahead and introduce yourself. Uh, my name is Jimmy. Tracy, but we weren't at the refuge, we were at the Narrows. We definitely want to clarify that Jimmy and Tracy were at the Narrows camping with their kids and just hanging out, and they were not at the Narrows. So if you can tell me what you guys saw from the very beginning, uh, that would help. Okay, so we were at the Narrows. We weren't at the refuge, just clarifying that. Um, we just showed up a couple of days ago. Uh, there was really heavy fed presence. How many cars would you say when you guys came in that day? Well, we had two OSP behind us with their lights on that blew past us and then pulled over. And we went past them and then they came past us again and then they kind of did a parked at the corner in front of the Narrows and were taking pictures of us as we drove through. Um, I'm going to say 15 to 20. 15, yeah. And there was like five or six in the cafe at the Narrows when I went in to pay for the, the campsite, but um, on the road, uh, Sod House Lane or whatever, there was at least 15 when we got there, but uh, the lady inside uh, the cafe said it was because there was some, a uh, couple of people camped there right before us that ended up getting kicked out for being belligerent or something like that, and they were waving flags and I, she said the FBI asked her to ask them to leave. And so they they were really nervous acting in the in the cafe, too. Um, there was also another guy getting interviewed by the Oregonian in the cafe when I was in there with four FBI right behind him. And uh, I thought, well, that was weird. <laughs> I wouldn't be giving an interview with any federal agents around me if I wanted the truth. But... Uh, it scared me, but uh, they seemed to clear out the next day, and then yesterday morning, I woke up and opened the door, and there were cars everywhere. Yesterday being Thursday. Yeah, Thursday. February eleventh. Eleventh. Yeah, there were there were feds, there were cops, there were patriots, media, just packed all on the, in front of the Narrows, and so we got ready real quick and went out there with our flag and joined the other patriots that were there um, waiting for them to bring out the four from the refuge. And how many uh, federal agents were there at the time, law enforcement, federal agents? And, and what type of, of law enforcement did you see? Could you identify them? Yesterday? Yes. There was county, county state. state, OSP, sheriff's office. Um, they brought out, after they brought the four out, they brought a bunch of military vehicles out. Six armored. Six armored tanks out. They're, I think they're... Yeah. What were they? MRAPs. MRAPs. Yeah, With the okay, military personnel that you saw, did you see any markings as to who they were, name tags, anything? No. No. They were all unmarked personnel. So um, you couldn't tell who, what branch uh, of the military they were from? No. No. If they were military at all, but they were militarily dressed. And all of the all of the SUVs for some reason have Idaho plates. I don't know what that's about. I can attest to that. I've seen a lot of those. Um, do you want to touch on why you came to Burns? It, totally sure. up to you. Sure. For me, it was I've been following the situation from the beginning uh, about the Hammonds and them being charged twice for the same crime and in this country that's called double jeopardy and it's not allowed uh, the government was very heavy handed and it's clear to see they want their land so they're going to do whatever they can to uh, make that happen and what are your sacrifices uh, to get here uh, you told me a little bit earlier well it's kind of a long story I'll try to sum it up I gave up a, a really good job to come 
and, and just show my support. I mean, there's nothing else I can do, but I can be here and show that uh, the locals that, that want our support have it. And I could show those in the refuge that we supported them by standing there as they was coming out. Uh, and people across America that, that support and can't come, I'm here for them also. Uh, I've got great support from a lot of friends on Facebook. They're, they're, they're helping us in one way or another. And Even if through prayers, I, I've heard that a lot. Exactly. And so every little thing that everybody does that can't be here, that wants to be here, everything they do is helping us. And we're here to be their eyes and ears to <clears throat> either prove or debunk rumors that are going around. Because yeah. nobody likes disinformation. And yes. We were getting a lot of that, so that's another factor of us coming down here. Well, let's get, you know. What difference do you think it's going to make you being here? Do you think it's going to make a difference? I've been here almost three weeks, so. <laughs> well, it may not make a, a difference to, to some, but to others it will. It, it, it'll make a difference to me. It'll give me a clear mind. It, 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 I can say at least I came and I seen what was going on. I can attest to this or that. There's a lot of misinformation out there. Are you getting that as well? People texting you, emailing you, Facebooking you with this all this misinformation. And because you're here on the ground and you're seeing things firsthand. So you personally, both of you, are helping debunk all that misinformation out there. Can you tell me if anything's happened to you since you've been here? Uh, no. Nothing has really happened to us other than last night we were sitting around our campfire and the uh, OSP was... Sheriff's. Was it sheriff? It was the sheriff's department, yeah. Okay. Excuse me. It was the sheriff's department that was manning the barricade. They were beside the narrows and they kept spotlighting us. So I don't know what that was about, but... So you're sitting there in your campsite, yes. minding your own business, and they just keep spotlighting you. Yes. Like, I mean, did you have any weapons out? Were you threatening? No, I mean, barbecue and a hot dog. We were cooking hot dogs. <laughs> so, yeah, it just, it's, uh, I guess I'm personally getting pretty frustrated with how they're treating people yeah, as well. That, but we also, I'd like to also say that we had an OSP officer stop in and thank the gentleman that was camping beside us, shook his hand, said thank you for being here, and gave him some angel food cake. Oh, cool. Yeah, so it's... I've met those as well. Yeah. I have. Because there are some local PD and uh, state police and such that uh, kind of have our backs as well. Right, and out of respect for him, you know, no pictures were taken because you don't want to out them guys. No. And cause no. them grief. No, you don't. But I had, and also, an OSP officer drove by yesterday while we were out, standing out in the road with our flag, and he gave us the head nod. Yeah. But. There's yeah. only so much they can do without, yeah, yeah understood. And so, not all of them are bad. You got some of them that get a little bit of authority, and they carry way too far, and they get that, yeah, that big head, and, oh, you know, they think it's all fun and games. Oh, it's spotlight them, and blind us. <coughs> you know, I'm not going to give in to none of that. It's, we're here for at least a month, and we're going to help out where we can. We're not going to try to cause any friction, but we will report what we see and hear and either prove or disprove anything going on on the Internet. And that actually helps a lot. It really does help a lot because a lot of people are contacting me and asking me for verification of this, that, and the other, and, and I've kind of squashed a couple rumors myself. Uh, I just literally picked up this camera a week ago or something, I don't even know now, and two weeks ago, and so my videos seem to be getting a lot of views, so speaking to the American people right now or any of your friends, family, anybody, is there something both of you would like to say to them? Well, I really came here, wanted to come here after I saw what happened in the boy. Um, and I was hoping that there would be more patriots here to support. Um, obviously, there's been some big patriots out of the, uh, at the site where he was murdered. 
and and that's you know that was heartwarming but there's not a lot of people here like there were people claiming to be here on Facebook and stuff like that I don't know where these people are but they're not here um but I'm hoping to get like I want to go st listen to Sheriff Mack tonight because I want to know what they're what can we do to fight for the Constitution without being labeled as terrorists because we're not terrorists we're not homegrown terrorists we don't want to hurt anybody we just want our rights protected and the government's not doing that um, so we're here doing our part to see what we can do about it so that our kids can grow up in a free country and to, to, to go with that it doesn't matter whether it's the left boot or the right boot on your neck if people cannot clearly see that this government no matter what affiliation you claim is not for the people you're blind you're either blind or you're dependent on the government because uh, I don't know I don't know if this isn't a wake up call to the American people how this whole situation was handled and now they're going back after everybody at Bundy Ranch everybody at Sugar Pine Mine everybody at the Montana Mine they're coming they're going to get they're going to pick us off one by one and they think they were going to make a difference with uh Reston, Mr. Bundy, the other day. Do you, what is the effect that you think that is going to have on this movement? Well, those that are already tucking tail and running, will, that, that just encourages more to tuck tail and hide. And there's... there's, there's the, also the flip side of that where uh, people are getting madder. I've seen both sides where people just, you know... Yeah. Quit and go home, and then I've seen the other side where uh, people are en route. Yep, and I've got several friends that are en route. I believe them. They tell me they're coming. They tell me they're coming. And I also want to let the people of Burns know that the people coming here are in support of them, and we have made a huge attempt to tell all hotheads to stay home. Exactly. Uh, I, I definitely see that you guys are both level headed, cool rational minds and you just have the future of your children at stake here and and your, your the future of America and I just want the people of Burns to know that you guys are here for them as well as for Lavoie and the Hammonds and and I understand that the Hammonds have asked a lot of people to stand down but this is about every single rancher in America I'm from the area, not this area, but I'm from Oregon. I, I know a lot of ranchers, and that what the Hammonds did was, was normal practice for any rancher to do to protect their property. Um, so the people of Burns, as far as I know, are quite a few ranchers, and you know we're here for their rights as well as our own and the future of our children's. Um, I think that they've been screwed by the government for so long that they're used to it. This, and that's, you know, what I've seen in the area I'm from. It, they go back and forth with the tribe over the water rights. And, you know, so we're here for everybody's rights. Yeah. In the future. Yes. We're not, we're not here to hurt anybody. We're not heavily armed. You know, we're here, we're here for freedom. Yeah. Yeah. If I can get people to realize one thing from all of this is, I forget who said it, but I read it somewhere, that if the government can take away one right per generation, soon we will have no rights left, and nobody will ever notice they were taken. I'm pretty sure that was Stalin or Lenin or something like that, from right from the Obama's playbook. But, yeah, I don't know, I don't remember who said it, I can look it up, but, and that rings true. It does ring true. Absolutely, it's the frog in the pot. Slow boil. When are the when are the working people of America going to realize we're being whooped by the people that vote for them? They'll go out and vote because the government can give them this and this and this. And the working man over here, we're barely keeping our head above water. Yeah. And it's, we're, it seems like we're in a losing battle. Yeah, absolutely. Is there anything that would you would like to add at this time? What have you seen, experienced? I don't, I don't know what to ask. 
You know, I, one thing I would add is when Lavoy was murdered, a, a lot of people got, you know, they lit a fire under a lot of people's butts, I think. But now that Cliven's been arrested uh, in Portland, and they've got all those Mondays up there and everybody else up there in that jail, I would hope that this would start something of a revolution, you know, for people to stand up for their rights. But yeah. it seems like all the sheep have, have sat down and made excuses, and there aren't that many wolves yeah. left. So any help we can get would be appreciated. And it's a big propaganda war. It's a huge propaganda war. The amount of misinformation out there is, is huge. Yes. It's huge. And We're trying our best to get uh, absolutely everything that we can out that's, that's the truth. And that's my whole goal. So if, if, you, if, you, if you want to come, come. Just don't come with the intent to fight. Just start trouble. Just come and obey the laws. Use your First Amendment. Uh, if you want to use your Second Amendment, that's up to you. That's fine. Just make sure you research the laws. And we'd like, we'd like to cooperate with law enforcement, you know. I mean, we have friends that are in law enforcement. You know, we're not anti-government, like, like the news media likes to say, that we're anti-government militants or whatever that is. Right. But we'd, we'd like to work with them because we're also here for their rights as well. Yeah. And if it takes an Alabama boy to come all this far to get the word out, I'm willing to do that. So be it. Yeah. So be it. I, I want will travel to the ends of the United States of America to support this Constitution and our Bill of Rights. Yeah. That's why I had to put it up. I had to, I got to get it in there. <laughs> that's my plug. And like, and like Ammon and Lavoie have all said, that's the supreme law of the land. Yes. That's what we should live by. Yes. They know their rights. The Bundys know their rights very well. And so they are deemed a threat and that's my belief that if they get them out of the public eye that this is going to fizzle. But it, there's a lot of people educating themselves out there, and it, it, it's, it's not over. It's right. not over. Oh, no. This is happening all over the country, and that's why these patriot groups are forming, and they're getting bigger by the day. They are the, the, the number of people that are joining every single day is getting bigger. And so I'm going to tell you guys to not be discouraged that people will show up and people will make a stand. And if it's not here, this is Jade Helm 21 if I ever saw it practice going on here. Right. And, and people got to know that. People got to wake up. They've got to see what's going on. You know, and, and don't be discouraged at the numbers because they're all over. Everything is happening down to Texas and uh, Oklahoma, and these land grabs are going all over the place by BLM. Yep. And if they just, people just follow the money. That's all I'll say about it. I'm not going to get into an argument or a discussion about it as, as I tell people on my Facebook page. Follow it. Educate yourself. Follow the money. Where's the money coming from? Where is it coming from? That's the problem. The majority of them are too lazy. They, <coughs> they are spoon fed by the government ran media. And that's another thing that makes me so mad. Where's all the media coverage? We had a lot, but they were, uh, I mean, we out at the rally at the courthouse, we outnumbered the, the other protesters uh, two to one easy. And they were interviewing all of them and, and none of us. So uh, it was very slanted, very slanted indeed. And the, uh, I really hope people watching this video are going to re-look at that video because there were state employees, there were uh, county employees that were picketing, and that's against, they're, they're not allowed to do that as state employees. And then the next day they got dressed and came into work because we saw the same faces. And there is uh, somebody telling me that there was a sheriff there. There was a there was a local PD there po protesting as well, and his face is on camera. So if people can research that, that would be really good as well. So they've got state in state employees and and county employees protesting against the Patriots uh, on the courthouse steps. If people will do their research and look into that as well, that would be really nice. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Time. I'm going to be at the Sheriff Mac thing tonight, and somewhere, somehow, I am going to get this uploaded. 
my uh, Oath Keepers account has been hacked and I'm not able to access it. I'm not able to access my laptop at this time, but uh, due to the grace of the universe, I have this cheap video camera that they can't hack. So I do have this, and I'm burning copies, and I'm sending them out and hiding them and everything else so you can kiss my backside. They got them. I got them. And they're here, and they're safe. Thank you guys very much for your interview. I appreciate your time. Thank this you. is Rocky Hall from Lassen County, California, Oath Keeper, signing out.